Netflix likes their random horror films. It's October, another scary review. Today we're talking The Binding. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking The Binding. This is an Italian film, one that I was definitely interested in after reading this premise. So, non-spoiler review, I'm going to tell you guys whether this movie is worth streaming or not on Netflix, and uh, let's get into it. So while visiting her fiancé's mother in southern Italy, a woman must fight a mysterious and malevolent curse, intent on claiming her daughter. Nothing is stronger than the bond between mother and daughter, and um, that's something we have to slowly explore in the first act of this film. Let's start with what works in this movie. Uh, first off, the atmosphere. When you're looking for really good gothic horror, because that's the kind of movie this is, you're looking for atmosphere, the way that it conveys and portrays horror, uh, but maybe not in the way that you anticipate or expect. It's a very different kind of horror film in the beginning, especially now. It definitely has those moments. A couple of moments, jump scares, and you guys know how I feel about jump scares. Sometimes they're cheap. Sometimes they're cheesy. The jump scares that we do get in this film, even though, again, the atmosphere is really what allows you to soak in just the haunting feeling of this movie, so I thought that was portrayed excellently all throughout the movie, not just in the first act, um, but the jump scares we do get, one in particular, um, where the camera just kind of turns around, zooms in super quick, it's really cheesy, really, really cheesy. But at the same time, it's unsettling throughout from the score uh, to just the camera movement in general, other than those few cheesy moments. It does a really good job at capturing that. Also, uh, Italian culture, just kind of implementing that into the film. Blending that traditional culture into modern day and kind of meshing the two, uh, providing that to us at the beginning of the movie. I thought it got off to a really good start. And I'm sitting back thinking, man, I really hope it... Uh, keeps its momentum because I like the story, I like the fact that you have uh, this mother and daughter who are with this guy, but maybe they don't know as much about the guy and the family that they're going to as they should. But the further we go into the film, uh, the more we move into what the plot actually is and the fact that they're trying to steer you in a certain direction, a direction that I was kind of going with, and then I started to realize about halfway through the movie um, maybe it's not doing what we think it's doing, and sure enough, it does go in a different direction, uh, but I'm not going to sit here and say it was a good direction. What you want in horror is what you get at the beginning of this movie. Unfortunately, the plot is just so cliche and just so convoluted with decent and reasonable performances, but it comes down more to the character decisions. Our lead actress in particular, she makes a few decisions uh, going into the third act and in the third act in general, and I'm just sitting back going, why are we doing this? Why are we making this decision? And why is the entirety of the third act every single exorcism type movie that we've seen before. Every single one. Uh, back to the imagery, still really good. A couple of practical effects in the third act. My goodness, one that had me squirming. I'm in my seat like, okay, this is the kind of horror that leaves me unsettled. It's not a jump scare. It is on screen for us to see. It's great. And that's what I mean when I say there are some really great moments in this film. Unfortunately, it's just completely overshadowed by how the characters are written, by the fact that the entire third act just continues to go downhill to the point to where I said they've almost ruined what works so well in the first and the second act. And I've just seen too many movies like this. And it didn't stand out enough from a script and a screenplay perspective. Maybe from an atmospheric perspective, on a technical level. I thought it was well filmed, but it just wasn't compelling. I wasn't invested in the plot like I needed to. Um, but if you are a fan of horror, gothic horror uh, specifically, you may find something uh, to gravitate towards in this movie. And I'm gonna give you guys my score super quick. My score is a 42 for this film. Leave your comments down below. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm reviewing every movie, every TV show, on Netflix, except 
not everyone is on this YouTube channel. I will be reviewing Vampires vs. the Bronx on my Patreon page. So if you guys want to go over there and check that out, we're doing some cool live streams, all kinds of stuff over there. Stay tuned tomorrow morning as scheduled, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, live stream every Sunday. Let's do it.